Yeah. You know, yeah. it's steamy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. sultry out there. there they you got go. the music going on, the dancing going on, but at least it's not <laughs> wet. We're not talking about, and you like my little, yeah, little like, shuffle hey. happening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any rain in the forecast, <laughs> right. so you won't be dancing or singing in the rain tonight, which is good news. Yeah. At least until overnight. That's when showers are going to return to the forecast. So let's take a look <laughs> outside right now. We'll take you out to the shore. Cape May County looking gloomy again. Not a great week to be down the shore. If this was your week down the shore, starting Memorial Day, well, we had a nice beach day on Saturday for much of the shore points, and then it's all been downhill from there. Looks like Friday may redeem itself just a little bit, but you can see the clouds are in place and temperatures on the chilly side once again down the shore today. The flag flying as well. It's brisk and chilly the day you want that Cape May Beach Patrol sweatshirt, that hoodie to walk on the beach if you're down the shore. Let's check in with our weather watchers and they're reporting temperatures again only in the 60s and 70s right now. It's steamy, so it feels a little bit warmer than that, but it is certainly still on the cool side. You can see 77 degrees as we check in here with our weather watcher just off to the east, Kenneth Martin. He's in Willingboro, 77 with some clouds there. We're at 76 as we head south down toward Wilmington and check in with Greg McCoy. He's actually in Marshallton. He's got some clouds and he showed us the progression of the day. We started the day with a lot of cloud cover and as you can see, the skies actually broke. The clouds broke. The sun came out at least for a short period of time, but most of the day has been on balance overcast, but the ducks don't mind. Love this shot of from Walter of the ducks enjoying a little bit of sun glinting on the water out there today. Not a bad day to be a duck, but if you're human, feels a little steamy. Let's take a look at some more rain headed our way. We'll start you off here on storm scan three as moisture comes surging in from the south and you can see we are seeing some showers form across portions of central Pennsylvania right now. We'll be watching those drift into our region overnight so you can see how the clouds are increasing noticeably as we go through the overnight hours and we are going to start to see some better chances at wet weather, especially by about two or 3 a.m. and then we'll start tomorrow with clouds and showers once again and tomorrow looks like an unsettled day. Some of this moisture is associated with what was once tropical storm Alberto. You can see that pretty defined swirl of clouds there over Indiana that's lifting into Michigan, but part and parcel of that low is going to start drifting east. As we head into the weekend, a new low developing south of Philadelphia that's going to pull in some rain and eventually an east wind as we get into the weekend, which is going to keep things on the chilly side. So we'll take you through it hour by hour here as we go through the overnight hours. You know, those showers and clouds we just talked about off to the south, they're going to be lifting in to the north and east overnight. Now the showers are going to fizzle a bit, but you can see as we get into Friday, another round of showers and storms. And then by Saturday afternoon, it forms again. So just about every day, we've got the chance for a few scattered showers or thunderstorms in the forecast. Saturday, some of the heavier showers and storms may form again with a new low that's going to move by to the south and will produce some significant down. Pours. Our future heat index values as we head into your Friday. This doesn't want to move for me, but take a look at this. By Friday afternoon, when you factor in the heat and the humidity, it's going to feel as hot as 95 degrees in Philadelphia. It'll feel like 95 in Wilmington. It'll feel like 95 in Trenton. So Friday is the hottest, most humid day. But once again, we'll be sh tracking showers and storms that'll pop up through the afternoon and evening. We'll be out at Summerfest in New Jersey and we'll have to keep an eye to the sky if you're out and about Friday afternoon showers and storms. So overnight those showers redevelop for your Thursday. It will be humid with a few spotty showers and storms, some in the morning, then possibly a lull midday, another round in the evening and your eyewitness weather seven day forecast. Notice the raindrops every day right through the start of next week. Again, late Saturday into Sunday looks like some of the heaviest rain. Sunday's much cooler and breezy with an east wind, the high barely hitting 70 and Monday highs only in the 60s with the chance for showers. Not the best start to June, but then it gets a little better next week. We'll try to dry it out next Tuesday and Wednesday. Yuki and Nicole back over to you.